Hi, I'm Leo Leung, a Senior Director of Product Management for Oracle Cloud. And today I'm going to talk about considerations before you migrate your application to the cloud. There's really three areas to think about. First is the kind of application you have. So roughly, most applications fall into two categories. A packaged application, meaning a provider actually put it together, and it's relatively cookie cutter. You can, uh, uh, it's sold to many, many uh, customers, same type of application. Or it's custom in that you developed it yourself, someone developed it for you, uh, it varies every single time. Second area to think about is how often your data changes. So if it's mostly cold data, where it's archive data or it's catalog type of data, it doesn't change very often. If, it's, if it changes at a moderate pace, uh, or if it's extremely hot, it's changing all the time, every second, many, many times a second, that's very important consideration before migration. And then third is the balance between the amount of data you need to move into the cloud and how much network you have, network capacity, uh, between your environment and the cloud. And usually this is measured in, uh, oftentimes in terabytes, and how much connectivity you have into the cloud can be uh, in gigabits, sometimes tens of gigabits. Okay, so in each of these cases, when you think about packaged applications, you're usually able to just deploy a new instance in the cloud and not migrate the application. In some cases, you're actually able to uh, deploy the latest version of that application uh, and again, essentially do an upgrade uh, and a migration at the same time. If you're doing a custom application or if you have a packaged application that has lots of customization, then you're going to have to actually move that application code. If you're looking at the rate of data change, in most cases, uh, there's two parts to a data movement. You're moving the bulk of the data at a point in time, and you're saving that point in time. And then there's usually a second technology that comes into play, more of a synchronization technology, to make sure that your latest changes are moved into the cloud as well. So usually you have a point in time uh, of all your data, and then you're doing a sync operation for anything that's uh, changed after that point in time. The third area is very important to think about where uh, certainly you're gonna be limited by the amount of network you have into the cloud. There's lots of options, uh, both over just standard internet as well as uh, things called direct connection into the cloud, which gets you into the tens of gigabytes and more. But even then, if you're moving uh, terabytes, tens of terabytes or even petabytes of data, it's gonna be actually way faster to move it uh, by truck or by disk. Okay, so there's network that's available. Usually you'll see some type of matrix where depending on how much data you have and how much network capacity, at some point there's gonna be uh, a crossover where shipping a disk or shipping an, an entire appliance, which is usually, usually a storage appliance that has a huge amount of data, or in some cases even a shipping a truckload of data is gonna be actually much faster than trying to push all that data over the network. So there you have it, three areas to think about when you're thinking about moving your application into the cloud and uh, the best practices around each of those areas. Thanks so much for your time.